Hello and welcome back to another video on the one and only Kerbal Space Program. This is Subscriber Designs episode 10 and we are starting off with Excelsius Fighter. Okay, so the first design here, um, Excelsius Fighter, has been made by Addict245. Thanks for the submission. Let's go ahead and fly it. There we go. So it, it cannot lift off early at the runway. It does have three wings on each side, which is more than we, what we usually have. And here we go. Time to lift off. There we go. I wouldn't. Yeah, that's okay. That is an early lift off. All right. I was mistaken. Yes, I was flying this before and it didn't lift off early. My fault. Anyway, um, this thing can definitely go 1,500 meters per second plus. Easy. Um, not to mention there aren't duplicated amounts of circular intakes there, so the only problem would be the flow um, at high altitudes. But you could easily fix that up if you wanted to. Um, also, uh, one problem with this design is that it, it sort of slips to the side when you want to turn left or right. So, not like that. If I, how would I do this? Eh. Eh. Okay. Well, I probably won't be able to replicate the problem, but anyway, it, it, it's a little bit weird. Like if I go straight, see how it's like moving to the right a little bit by itself. It, it's like slipping. Especially, look, see that when I just turned left there, it slips. Oh, we're not gonna die, are we? Yes, that's that's what the only problem is with this. It's pretty cool. And let's land it. Yeah, it's a nice quick, quick flow. Yeah, all right, that was dangerous. I'm getting worse. I haven't played the game for ages. By the way, the the next KSB update. I don't remember what the exact version is meant to be, but um, apparently it's it's in the testing phase now, and it's just taking him ages. Wow, I'm surprised. It must be a lot of new things that they're adding. <laughs> I'm over exaggerating. Yeah, but it is taking him a while. Um, they're probably busy. Apparently there's a new member in the KSP team too. So welcome aboard, whoever you are. It was in the KSP Weekly. If you don't know, KSP Weekly is just like... It's like a news article that the... One guy from KSP team publishes on the forums. Um, that smash was not meant to happen. Anyway, next design. And the next design is actually Septimus Fighter. For this design, we are actually going to... Go at a high altitude and test out its max speed. Um, when I first started off flying this design, I realized that there was a major problem, and this it still is a problem. If you notice, if you look here, spot the problem. Look at the engines. Ugh, not that, that's a little bit annoying. Yeah, look at the engines. Well, yeah, two ones here. And look at the wing. What happens when you have engines and a wing? There. Well, the wing is being damaged. If you hit press F3 on your keyboard, you see a whole bunch of dotting was damaged by engine exhaust. So that's what's happening right now. And that's the only problem with this design. And I haven't really tested it out yet, or I don't know. Maybe one of you guys will know. But if you, if the wing does get damaged, does it still work? Yes? No? Maybe? Like, from, from the past, in the past, the wings haven't worked for me after being damaged, so I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, someone tell me in the comments. That would be pretty helpful. Anyway, I'll be right back when I am very high. In altitude, of course. Alrighty, so we are back, and I'm being a little bit cautious right now, because it's like the aircraft is turning left and right, like, very steadily, but look at this, left and right, a little bit. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, see? Look at that. Left and right. Left and right. If I turn off a SAS, that... Okay, that won't fix it. That makes it worse. Because <laughs> I have to control it then. But, yeah. So, it's doing its own thing. Um, and, and, of course, the design is, is pretty cool looking. I've, we did have to sacrifice two wings in order to get it, you know, looking pleasing what not um, and I did hear what you guys said you guys said you wanted me to do a sun base sun station I mean you can't do a sun base can you? you probably can but you'd need like a mod to do that 
Not that I know of any mod, but that would be very blinding. Uh, yes. <laughs> so the sun station. Um, first off, I have to figure out how close I can get to the sun. I, I read it off the wiki, I don't remember exactly how close you can get, but there's a certain limit. Otherwise, if you get any any closer, the gravitational pull would just like destroy your aircraft. Ooh, oh. Okay, I Okay, well we're going pretty fast here. I wasn't really concentrating on the aircraft there, but anyway, Sun Sun Station, I'm looking forward to it. Um if you haven't seen the film Sun Sunshine, uh, it's a sci fi film. I wouldn't say there's that much action, but still sci fi. Uh yeah, sort of slow pace. I I advise you guys to watch it if you like sort of slow paced sci fi films. It's a thriller, I'd say. I think it's a thriller. Yeah, I haven't seen it for a long time, but it's interesting. It's an interesting film. Anyway, I want to make the main, the station that they have, the the ship. That's what I want to do. Something like that. It's pretty cool looking. If you want to see it, just go to Google and type in Sunshine uh, Movie. That You should see some pictures there. And next design. Alright, so John Stupiguy trying to be an engineer, he submitted two of these mini bombers. I won't fly it because it's a mini bomber, but please note this one has two bombs. And this one says mini jet bomber, but it's not a jet, yeah, it's rocket powered. And it has an extra two bombs, so a total of four bombs. Yay! <laughs> four bombs, awesome! Yeah, it's not very good when when trying to lift it up but this design here is awesome very good design and you will see why it has an early lift you can lift it up very early um, flying it is, is just awesome you can do any maneuver and it will, it will survive it anyway, let's go ahead and lift up there we go and we're gonna do a nice nice circle here circling around check this out check this out oof Look at that. Look at that. It survived. It's a, it's a big design, I'd say. And it's so awesome. The best design ever. Okay, other than... This is... The only problem with this design is what it's doing right now. Why is it doing that? It's because it doesn't really have one of those... Those vertical tail fins. That, you know, prevent it from going left and right. But... Even then, it's pretty good. We just survived it just then. Any other design would have you know been doomed as as usual for my designs and look at this on an angle but it straightens itself out only if you have the engines of on of course otherwise it's going to turn into some sort of frisbee and go ahead and crash into the ground you don't want that um but anyway for the sun station if you have any suggestions go ahead I'm I am open to anything giving that okay we're gonna smash no we're not see that was a trick actually I thought we we're gonna smash again <laughs> yeah so this is a good design we haven't fired off the bombs yet so we're gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna miss the target probably Ugh. eh close enough hey we actually survived that look at that look at oh <gasps> that was actually the best maneuvering I've ever done and I wasn't even concentrating too awesome next design very good one I like that and this is the exact same design, except it does not have bombs, so I won't fly it since it's pretty much exact. Uh, the next one is the uranium jet bomber. Please note, it does not use uranium. We don't have uranium in the game, I don't think. But anyway, nonetheless, it's a cool name. And this is a heavy design. Very heavy. Ah, oh, it's annoying, this one. No offense. <laughs> it's just heavy. I'm gonna get rid of the bombs actually. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, it's every design because of course one rocket engine and a lot of these fuel tanks, these fuel tanks are heavy. Everything else is fine. I think we have to lift off at the end of the runway. At least the backside lifts up. There we go. But as you can see here, if you check the speed, we're not increasing in speed anymore. And any other design that would have been light, I would have just, you know, increased straight to like 200 meters per second instantly. Given that it was very light, it is very light, not was. Um, yeah. So this one, interesting. I mean, you can turn it left and right. Obviously, it's okay. It looks a little bit weird, don't you think? 
Just just look at it. Look at the way we maneuver. Hmm. Interesting. And as I said, we don't really increase in, in speed very much. Especially when you go on an angle like such. What's like 45 degree angle? Yeah, it doesn't like that. Even a 20 degree angle just barely manages to increase in speed. Um, so that's that design, and that is the last design from John the Stupid Guy trying to be an engineer. The next design is from Simon, and he created the space pod. No, no, no. Is it space pod? Yeah, space pod. So this is space pod. I'm not even sure that's the actual name. But um, I did make this like a design like this a long time ago. I think it was more than three months ago. And surprisingly, just recently, people started this, you know, came up with the idea of actually creating the space pod. I beat them to it by several months. I feel awesome now. <laughs> anyway, this design, it's a little bit annoying. It's problematic because it just lifts up on the front front end. I think I had a similar similar problem when I created this design. Not this exact one, but another similar looking one, you could say. And I don't even know what episode number it was in, but yes, I created it. I won't go searching for it because I have a lot of episodes, I'd say. And this does have a liquid fuel engine, just one of the small ones. It's pretty much pointless, I'd say. It, yeah, it's very pointless. I guess it's just for looks. It doesn't really stabilize it. It still lifts up by a little bit. Let's point it downwards and lifts up. Is that it? That's what lifts up. Okay, I guess that helps. Let's point down. Yep, it does help. Okay, before I was testing it, it was like, it was not helping. It made it worse. Wait. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay. So you do need the back engine to be on. Turn that on. Oh, pff, okay. We've lost it. We've lost it. We cannot recover. Okay, we just, we survived. See? I'm pro at this. Wow, look at that. <laughs> And do 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 do. All we need now is, you know, this guy down here should have been named Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, should have been. I guess I I didn't bother renaming him. <laughs> I think you can rename him. It's pretty cool how you can do that in the game. Um, but yeah, that's it for this design. It, I wouldn't even go testing out its max speed. It would just crash easily and spaz out by itself. Let's go ahead and land. Ugh. Land it. Let's throttle just a little bit, just so we can make sure it goes in a straight direction. Give it a nice turn. Do 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 do. And yeah, I do have a full-time job, so I am quite busy. I only get about what three hours of me time per night. When I mean me time, I mean like stuff that I want to do. So if you want to go ahead and watch a YouTube video. Three hours of mean time, me time, not mean. Um, yeah, and I do, I do have a hobby. So YouTube is a hobby. I also do weights as exercise every now and then. Otherwise, I'll feel sick. <laughs> and when I'm in, I feel sick. I'll feel sick if I just stay in one position for like the whole day. Gets to me. I don't like it. Um, I'm sure a lot of people get that all the time. And yeah, anyway guys, thank you for watching. That is it for this episode. I'd like to thank all the subscribers who submitted their designs and those people are John the Stupid Guy, trying to be an engineer, not his real name, Simon and Addict245. So thanks again and see you next time. And also, is that his name? Bart Ford Kerman is very happy too. See ya. <laughs>